वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम वन डैश फोर्टी सेवन सो स्टेटमेंट इज दैंडेलियर इज सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम द वॉल एंड सीलिंग यूजिंग रॉड ए बी एंड बी सी विच हैव डायमीटर ऑफ थ्री मिलीमीटर एंड फोर मिलीमीटर रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ एवरेज नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस इन बोथ रॉड्स इज नॉट अलाउड टू एक्सीड वन फिफ्टी मेगा पास कल डिटरमाइन द लार्जेस्ट मास ऑफ शेंडिलियर दैट कैन बी सपोर्टेड इफ टीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री so this chandelier is suspended with the help of this rod bc and ab the diameter of ab is 3 mm which is 0.003 m while diameter of this rod bc is 0.004 m allowable stress for both this rod is 150 mega pascal and this theta is given as 45 degree so you have to find the largest mass of chandelier that can be supported by these rods so let's start with the solution so first step is we will define internal loading so by internal loading we mean that due to this mass that is suspended from uh, here this is will be equal to w and this will be equal to m into g clear and uh, this g is 9.81 so 9.81 into m will give you this weight the stress in this rod bc will be represented as uh, fbc clear this is fbc and stress in this rod will be represented as feb so this is theta is equal to 45 degree and here this theta will be equal to 30 degree with the horizontal so this is 30 degree now you can see this fb will have two component one is this one clear and other one is this one so this component will be equal to fbc into cos of 45 degree and this component will be equal to fbc into sin of 45 degree similarly this fab will have two component one is fab into cos of 30 degree and this vertical component which will be this will be the vertical component the vertical component this one and this will be equal to fab into sin of 30 degree so we will apply equilibrium condition the first equilibrium condition that we will apply is sum of all forces along x direction is equal to 0 and force in this direction is positive so one force is fbc so fbc into cos of 45 degree it is positive because this is in this direction there minus the second force which is this one and this is minus fab into cos of 30 degree so this is your equation number 1 now we will apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and taking the put force is positive so three forces one is this one other is this one and third is this one they are acting so we will write it the first is fbc vertical component into sin of 45 degree plus fab into sin of 30 degree minus 9.81 multiply by m is equal to 0 and this is your equation number 2 now equation 1 and 2 are equation 1 and two are simultaneous equation simultaneous equation you can easily solve it how you will solve it so you will uh, again this is equal to zero so again if you uh, move this fab over here so it will be plus and when you divide it by 45 so you will get fbc will be equal to fab into cos of 30 degree divided by cos of 45 degree so you will get uh, this fab fbc now you can put fbc over here 
that all the equation will be in term of f a b so you will get this f a b so when you solve it you will get i will advise you to solve it by yourself when you solve it you will get f a b e is equal to 7.181 into m clear when you get f a b you will put it in any of uh, this so you will get f b c will be equal to 8.795 multiply by m so these are the forces we do not know m so we will solve for that uh, we know that uh, area of rod a b is equal to pi by 4 0 0.003 square that will give you 7.069 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter while area of b c is equal to pi by 4 d square and d 0 0.004 square and it will give you 12.56 into 10 to the power minus 6 square meter now it is a given that average stress allowable stress for both rods is same and that is equal to f a b over area of a b so from here you will know that average and allowable stress is 150 megapascal so 150 into 10 to the power 6 f a b is 7.181 into m divided by area which is 7.069 into 10 to the power minus 6 so when you solve it you will get mass is equal to 147.64 kg or if you round off it so mass is 148 kg now for rod bc average normal stress is equal to fbc over area of bc so fbc is 8.795 times mass divided by area is 12.56 into 10 to the power minus 6 and that is equal to average normal stress which is 115 to 10 to the power 6 so when you solve it you will get mass will be equal to 214.31 kg so now you have two mass one is this one and the second one is this one so we will choose the smallest i will show you the reason so our mass is 148 kg that can be suspended why because if we choose this mass and we will put it over here so that will increase then 150 into 10 to the power 6 which is allowable stress so this mass causing the allowable stress to increase in rod a b clear and uh, this mass when we put the value over here so definitely this will be less than uh, this allowable stress so we will choose mass is equal to 148 kg i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are also learning from my videos uh, those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching